So my hot pepper plants have been doing really well lately and I've just gone and picked a bunch of peppers from them. I picked these probably a little bit before their full maturity because I am starting to get a little bit of attack from slugs and snails and sometimes they eat the top of the pepper here and the rest of the fruit just withers and falls off. I think these are a variety called Hungarian wax peppers but not really sure because it was a mixed packet of seeds. I'm going to make stuffed peppers today. So the first thing I need to do is prepare the stuffing. And for this I've got some chives from the garden. I've also got some sage, a tiny little bit of marjoram and some thyme. And I've got a little bit of Cornish Gouda cheese. So we're going to make a cheesy breadcrumb egg type stuffing. The chives I will just snip into the bowl with scissors. Just the easiest way of cutting them nice and finely. These are quite coarse chives because the plants are quite old and they tend to produce big bulbs under the ground and then biggish leaves. I'm going to use a lot of chives in here because I like the flavour and I do think they combine especially well with cheese. I've also got my leaves of sage and I'm going to do the same with those. So I'm just going to snip these up into little pieces. The thyme I'm just going to kind of give the sprig of thyme a kind of haircut like this. Of course any unused bits of these herbs will go in my stock box for making stock for soup later. As I've got them a couple of leaves of basil from the infinite basil conveyor will also go in there. So quite a lot of herbs but the peppers are quite robust in flavour so I think they'll stand it. Next I'm going to grate in some of this Cornish Gouda cheese. I'm just kind of eyeballing the quantities here so there's no recipe here I'm just making this up as I go along. So about that much cheese. Tiny little pinch of smoked paprika. And instead of salt, I'm actually going to use a tiny bit of one of these Magi Star Cube things because this has got salt and a little bit of MSG. So what I'm doing really is kind of envisaging the amount of volume inside these peppers. And I'm going to try and make that much filling. So I'm going to put a little bit of breadcrumbs in there just to bulk it out a bit. Probably about half a slice of this bread whizzed up in the food processor to make breadcrumbs. And then to bring that all together, just one egg. Next these peppers. Now I have no idea really how hot these are. I did taste one the other day that had been a little bit munched by a snail and so I ate a piece of the non-munched part and it was really hot. So I am going to scoop out that core and seeds. I mean, if, if for no other reason, because I've got to have somewhere to put the filling here. Okay, so I've got all my hollowed out peppers and that's all the stuff I hollowed out of them. Now I could put that into another dish if I wanted to. I could use that. That's probably going to have some fire to it, but I'm just going to compost that. I think there will be sufficient residual heat in these peppers. Just an oven proof metal dish. I'll put a little bit of oil in there so they don't stick. And then I'm just going to arrange these peppers like this. And I might regret this, but I think what I'm actually going to do is rather than try and stuff these individually, I'm just going to layer the stuffing on top of them as they sit, if that makes sense. So I'll try and tessellate them as much as possible, which I think is probably like that. And then this stuffing, I'm just going to kind of unceremoniously dump on top of the raft of peppers. I will spread it out a little bit more than this, I think. You know, if I wanted to do this neat and tidily, I could have done, but I think like that will be fine. And I think a little bit more cheese on top. And this time I'm using uh, an Italian hard cheese. It's a bit like Pecorino. Right, that's going to go into the oven now for about 10 minutes on a high heat. OK, those ended up needing about 12 minutes in the oven. They've got a little bit of browning on there, but I didn't want to let them burn. And then we're just going to have a nice slice of bread, a little bit of olive oil. So just going to... Plonk these peppers on top of that bread like that. Nice handful of lettuce and some interesting little cherry tomatoes. 
and that's lunch. And one more thing, I've got this jar of Polish pickles that's finished now, but in the bottom of the jar there are mustard seeds, caraway seeds and various pickled vegetables. And why would you throw that away? So that's going to go over the top for a little bit of acidity and extra flavour. And this pickling brine which is going to be flavoured with the mustard and caraway seeds as well. We'll just have that over the top there for kind of a dressing and a bit of extra flavour and colour. Okay then, so these stuffed peppers, let's get one kind of dissected out of the bunch so we can taste it on its own. There it is, stuffed homegrown peppers, nice and tender. Let's give that a little taste. Mmm, nicely hot, nicely cheesy, not overly fiery. I'm glad I took the seeds out. There's enough heat in there for me but not so much that I'm gonna need a glass of milk or anything like that. Let's try one of these smaller ones because that could be a different variety. Mm, a little bit milder, if anything, I would say. So there we go, stuffed homegrown peppers from the garden. Really delicious and tasty. And I love meals like this where I can taste the peppers, I can taste the, all those herbs in there from the garden. I hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.